R. Ask Reddit, asks, etymologists of Reddit, what is the coolest origin of a word? Entomologist of Reddit, what's your best bug fact? Wow. Good timing. I just learned this one today. Etymology of the word clue. The word clue originates with the myth of Theseus, who used a ball of yarn to find his way back out of the Minotaur's labyrinth. The Middle English word for a ball of yarn was clue, or clue, when the myth was popularized in England by Chaucer. People started using the word clue figuratively to mean a hint or guide to solving a problem. Edit. Holy forking shirt balls. This blew up. I have so many internet points now. Obligatory thanks for the gold. Kind stranger. Interesting. The word for clue in Swedish is ledtrad, which is translated to lead thread or path thread. So it's probably related to the same myth. Theseus. In the labyrinth. With a sword. The word, bear, in many languages in Europe, including English, just means brown thing. There used to be a proper name for bear. But it was taboo because saying it was believed to summon a bear. Who would then kill everyone? It was so taboo it was eventually forgotten and the euphemism, brown thing, became the name. Ancient people were scared pissless by bears. Edit. The Arctic draws its root from Arctis. Greek for bear. So it's the land of bears. The Antarctic is thus the land without bears. The word apron was originally napron. But when people said a napron, it got gradually transformed into an apron. I have no bug facts. Closing parenthesis dot. Napkin and napron have similar etymologies. Also nuke used to be EWT. The word quintessential has one of my favorite etymologies. You can break it down into quint and essential. Quint is in fine. Essential is in essence or element. To be quintessential is to be the fifth element of something. To be the thing's spirit. So, the fifth element is a quintessential movie no matter what anybody says. What were the first four elements? Multipass. Dot. Malaria Malaria is an infectious disease characterized by chills and fever and caused by the bite of an infected Anopheles mosquito. This word comes from the medieval Italian mal, bad, and aria, air. Describing the miasma from the swamps around Rome, this bad air was believed to be the cause of the fever that often developed in those who spent time around the swamps. In fact the illness, now known as malaria, was due to certain protozoans present in the mosquitoes that bred around these swamps, and which caused recurring feverish symptoms in those they bit. Two in one. Very nice. The etymology of tawdry is a real ride. There was a 7th century Anglo-Saxon saint named Aethelthrith. Now, nobody, not even 7th century Anglo-Saxons, wants to go around trying to pronounce that dense forest of Tis. So she was commonly known as Saint Ethelreda. And later, linguistically lazier people called her Saint Audrey. Saint Audrey was the patron saint of a town called Ely. And the folks of Ely held a fair every year in her name. One of the primary products on offer at these fairs was lace. Saint Audrey's lace was said a few too many times and got slurred down to tawdry lace. Over time, the lace fell out of favor. It was mainly made by peasant women, and thus viewed as cheap, and the Puritans looked down on lace garments of any kind as ostentatious. Tawdry then began to be used to describe other things that were cheap and ostentatious. And the modern definition of the word was born. T-L-D-R. Tadri comes from the fact that Aethelthrith is really hard to pronounce. Etymology, nightmare, the mare part of the word nightmare comes from Germanic folklore, in which a mare is an evil female spirit or goblin that sits upon a sleeper's chest, suffocating them and or giving them bad dreams. So basically the word comes from a description of sleep paralysis. Entomology. Honeybees have to make about 10 million trips to collect enough nectar for production of one pound of honey. In German, Albtraum reflects this folklore as well. Alp being an older word for elf. So, elf dream. The elf in this case being more like the goblin that sits in your chest rather than what we think of today as elves. This explains the painting the nightmare. 
So, the fifth element, is a quintessential movie no matter what anybody says. I will fight him if they tell you those lies. Corvin. Corvin. My man. Does anyone else want to negotiate? Interesting. The word for clue in Swedish is ledtrad, which is translated to lead thread or path thread. So it's probably related to the same myth. In Turkish the word is IPUCU, which is translated to tip of the rope. Never thought about it before I saw your comments. Closing parenthesis closing parenthesis dot. In Dutch Lydrad I guess comes from that too. In Estonia it's Jutlong, so pretty much lead of yarn. Roger is just the modern English equivalent of the Old English and Old Norse name Rothgar. Edit. Additionally, Rothgar means famous spear, and is the name of the Danish king in the medieval epic poem Beowulf. Rothgar that. So in Skyrim, hi Hothgar is just, hi Roger? That's incredibly horse girl of you. Why does this make sense to me? You call. Lol holy shit. In Eastern Slavic languages they were so scared that even the brown thing became taboo. The world is still used as a part of Bear's lair, name. But the animal itself is named as the one who knows where is honey. W-H-A-A-A-T that's crazy. I never realized that the word medved has two parts, med, honey, ved, to know thank you for this random fact. My name is Audrey. I went through a cringy phase where I used Athelthrith when asked my name and even said it as my FB name. That's incredibly horse girl of you. If I were you, this would be my Facebook profile, URL redacted, image, photos, 37,500,000, this is Audrey E. Little Shop of Horrors 37597217-821-417. JPEG. Why does this make sense to me? Etymology. Cliché. Is derived from the sound of dapping ink on typeface, anyone who has used an ink roller will understand the sound of sticky ink, so it's the repeated sound of regularly and therefore overused piece of type, entomology. Australia has, had a massive problem with the build-up of animal waste following the introduction of cattle, native dung beetles only work with hard dry dung of marsupials and wouldn't touch the cowpats of imported cows. I love that cliché is the sound that a stereotype makes. Have the dung beetles adapted since? Or is that still an issue? Etymology. Nimrod was originally a compliment referring to one's hunting skills, Nimrod being a biblical figure known for his ability to hunt. But the definition changed because people didn't understand Bugs Bunny was calling Elmer Fudd a Nimrod sarcastically entomology. Earwigs have wings. And can fly. Earwigs are the black ones with the pinchy butts, right? Edit. Thanks for the gold. Two in one. Very nice. When I think about malaria and mosquitoes, it is never together with the words, very nice. My uncle used to tell me that the reason he drinks gin and tonic is because it keeps the malaria away. I think it's because he's an alcoholic but whatever. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe to support the channel, and above all, have an excellent day you incredible people.